I'm on a mission to not reinstall Windows as long as possible. I have already done a couple of tests and I also did a couple of videos in this topic. I think most Windows users know this that over time your PC becomes slower and slower. And one of the most common reason why your PC feels slower is because of the SSD. I know SSDs are faster, but over time they become really, really slow. There are many factors why this happens. So as we go through this video, we'll talk about those factors. So here is a little story about me. I used to reinstall Windows almost every five to six months, sometime even like three months, because after some time, my Windows PC feels slow, like opening program or doing file transfer becomes like super slow. To fix that, yeah, I used to reinstall Windows very often. But this time, this is the longest that I have kept my Windows installation. These are my specs and this is when I installed this Windows. Now it's May 2025, almost like five to six months and I have zero issues. <laughs> I have made a couple of videos in this topic already. Uh, I was doing some experiments like using the symbolic links and all that. But finally, uh, I'm not doing the symbolic links and all that anymore. I'm just moving the user folders to the different drive and keeping the C drive clean. What I have found is that if you want your windows to run smooth, even after a long time using it, you should never touch C drive. What I mean by touch is that don't fill the C drive with your files, documents, or whatever you do. Even when you're installing programs, you should change the installation directory. Not all programs allows you to change the directory, but most programs actually have that option. Now, this is my setup here. We have the C drive. This is a SSD, 500 gigabytes one, okay? And I also have secondary SSD, which is one terabyte one. And I also have HDD. Once I install Windows, I don't touch C drive as much as possible. First thing what I do is move the user folders, these downloads, documents, pictures, all these folders to secondary drive. Okay, I have the secondary SSD. So here I can actually show you guys. These folders are actually not in uh, the C drive. There is a good reason why. Let me actually explain little bit about SSD. Longer you use SSD, they become slower. There are many reasons. Maybe it's getting old and getting physically damaged, which is not that common unless the SSD is actually really, really old. Second, fragmentation. As the SSD fills up, it becomes slower. And the interesting thing is that it doesn't even matter if you delete the files from the SSD. And those data can be scattered in different locations of SSD, which can again make SSD slow. It's like fragmentation or something, you can say that. And another reason, maybe the trim command isn't working properly, which is actually common in Windows. Sometime, I don't know why, for some reason, um, the trim command doesn't work properly in Windows or doesn't run automatically. It should run in background automatically. There is a time, maybe once a week or something, you can set up the time. Uh, but sometime, again, it's common in Windows. For some reason, the trim command doesn't work properly. And this was the main reason why I used to reinstall Windows because I actually didn't know about the trim command. Let me try to explain this actually. So uh, let's say your SSD is getting full. To free up the storage, you delete something from the uh, SSD. But even after you delete some files from the SSD to free up the storage, hoping that SSD will become faster, no, it doesn't work that way in SSD. You need to run the trim command. Trim command is the thing which actually tells SSD that the files are actually gone from the system and you can use that free space. If you don't use trim command, SSD will think that uh, the storage is full basically. I think that's the best I can explain. So whenever you feel like your Windows PC is getting slow, it feels like really slow, the programs are launching slower, that's 
most of the time is because of the SSD and trim command not working properly, which is again common in Windows. You can actually run the trim command manually just go to properties and then go to tools here click on optimize and here on ssd you'll see uh, when the trim command was ran by default windows will automatically optimize the ssds weekly okay so you can see it was trimmed yesterday sometime even if you see that this was trimmed sometime you may have to click on optimize to trim it manually so you can see on ssd when you click on optimize it basically runs the trim command this is the most important thing about the ssd you have to run trim command every now and then to never face this issue or to never like run trim command manually i actually don't touch the c drive altogether i have already moved user folders to secondary drive like for example the downloads folder i download files from the internet all the time like programs and whatnot so basically it goes to the downloads folder but not in the C drive. I can actually show you guys here. If I go into the properties of downloads folder here, you can see it's not in the uh, C drive. It's on the D drive. And I have kind of, let's say, um, neatly organized my D drive just for the user folders and programs. It, I tried to maintain the similar structures uh, as the C drive. Let's say, the downloads folder and other user folders are still on c drive so if you download anything from the internet it will go to the c drive so once you're done with the file you delete them you do this constantly like all the time this thing actually fills up the ssd so if the trim command isn't working properly your windows will feel really really slow now one of the easiest way to tell if your ssd is slow is to check the ssd's uh, read and write speed you can use ssd benchmark software so i'm using this software called as ssd benchmark and i can just run it now i'm gonna click on run i don't have to run this all the way once i'm done with the sequence i can cancel this and here i can see my ssd's read and write speed so here you can see my ssd is getting almost 500 megabytes read and write speed and this is the maximum speed of my ssd you can also check your ssd's read and write speed uh, on the internet or on the ssd's box this isn't the fastest ssd i know this is like really cheap and really slow ssd but there are ssds with like crazy read and write speeds like 2000 or 3000 above speed if the ssd's read and write speed doesn't match with the read and write speed you ran on benchmark software then it's confirmed that there is something wrong with your ssd either you need to run the trim command or your ssd is getting old or getting physically damaged or something if your ssd is relatively new and you see everything okay in the benchmarking software that means yeah you need to run the trim command once you run the trim command run the ssd benchmark and you'll see the normal read and write speed as the ssd's specs you don't actually have to go too crazy like you never touch the c drive just make sure that it's not filled up all the way so basically as long as you don't fill the c drive all the way to like 100 percent you're good to go okay it's not like you can't store in c drive you can okay it's it's okay to store things in it but don't use the downloads and document folders in C drive. Move it to another drive. In downloads folders, you'll be downloading things from the internet and then later you'll be deleting and all that. Even though you delete them and free up the C drive, if the trim command doesn't work properly in Windows, when you're doing some important work, let's just say that, you might have to run the trim command manually and then restart your PC, which can interrupt your important work or whatever you're trying to do. So basically, don't store any files on the C drive that are going to get deleted, okay? Like, for example, the downloads folders and document folders. I think most people have faced this issue. Like, you bought the brand new computer, started using it, and all of a sudden after like 
couple of months, it becomes really, really slow. There are other factors, like maybe there is something wrong with your CPU, RAM, maybe the CPU is getting hot. There are many reasons, but I think the most common reason is the SSD and the trim command not working properly in Windows. So as long as you keep the C drive clean and fresh, I think your Windows experience will be good. You know what? Go and download the SSD benchmark software and run the benchmark and compare it with the read and write specs of your SSD. If it's not close to the read and write speed of the SSD, then there is something wrong with your SSD. Maybe you just need to run the trim command and restart your PC and you'll be good to go. That's it. Hope you enjoyed it. If you still have any questions or have any suggestions for me, you can always do the comment and we can have some chit chat in the comment section too. Yeah, that's it. I'll see you in the next one. Take care of yourself and have fun. Bye-bye.